Now allow me to welcome on stage President Schneider Amann of Switzerland. Mr. Chair, ladies and gentlemen, Switzerland would like to thank the governments of the United Kingdom, Germany, Norway, Kuwait, and the Secretary General of the United Nations for convening this conference. Since 2012, Switzerland has been actively supporting the UN in its efforts to find a political solution to the Syria crisis. We welcome the opening of the Syria talks in Geneva and the efforts of the UN Special Envoy for Syria, Mr. Staffan de Mistura. Switzerland calls on all parties to the conflict to display the willingness and determination necessary for the talks to be continued and to reach concrete results. Ladies and gentlemen, over six million children in Syria and its neighboring countries are currently dependent on humanitarian aid. We must give these young people access to education, which together with schooling builds the foundation for new perspectives. For this reason, Switzerland has rehabilitated almost 120 schools in Jordan and Lebanon since 2012. This will allow over 60,000 children to go to school. Almost a fifth of all schools in Syria have been destroyed, damaged, or are being used for military purposes or as emergency accommodations. This alone demonstrates how the conflicting parties systematically violate international humanitarian law and human rights law. Humanitarian actors must be given unrestricted access to all the people at risk. Through this humanitarian diplomacy efforts, Switzerland is seeking to improve the working conditions of humanitarian actors in Syria. In view of the huge challenges, Switzerland pledges at least 50 million Swiss francs for the victims of the Syria crisis in 2016. About half of this is to provide aid inside Syria. The other half will provide support in the neighboring countries. This pledge brings the total amount donated by Switzerland in Syria and neighboring countries since the outbreak of the crisis to over 250 million Swiss francs. And finally, let me assure you that Switzerland will continue to follow the humanitarian situation in and around Syria very closely and will review its funding commitment accordingly. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Yeah. President. May I now welcome on stage Foreign Minister Bishop from Australia.